Today is the festival of Easter. We celebrate the turning point of history as Christians understand it. We'll sing and shout and celebrate because our God has kept his promises to all creation. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. In doing so, he confronted sin, human brokenness, defeating death. We can hold these words of John's gospel to be true. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Take courage. I have conquered the world. May God bless you. Good morning and welcome once again to the vicarage as we celebrate Easter together and may God continue to bless us uh, this morning. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us receive the opening prayers by our Young Voices Choir members. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We have lit this Easter candle to remind us that God is here. By his spirit, a pillar of fire that glows to the glory of God. Christ is the world's light. Let it mingle with the lights of heaven and continue bravely burning to dispel the darkness of the night. The darkness has not overcome him. May Christ the morning star which never sets find this flame still burning in our church and in our hearts. Christ is our light. Christ is our morning star who is risen from the dead and shining his peaceful light on all humanity. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Alleluia. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thank you, children, for the prayers. We are very grateful. Let us sing our opening hymn, Thine be the glory, risen, conquering Son. and conquering sun endless is the victory the world death has won angels in bright raiment rolled the stone away kept the folded grave clothes where thy body lay thine be the glory Endless is the victory the war death has won. No, Jesus beats us, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets us, scatters fear and gloom. Let the church with Let us reflect 
and offer our prayers of confessions at this time. Let us reflect and be honest with God. We must admit the times we fell short and tell him we are sorry for our mistakes. We have forgotten that you made us in your image and we have treated others as if they are not important. Lord, have mercy. We have pretended not to know right and wrong. Then our bad decisions have hurt others and ourselves. Christ, have mercy. We have been greedy and selfish and refused to share what we have with the people around us. Lord, have mercy. And the prayer of absolution. God, hear our prayers and answers. Jesus Christ went to the cross for our sins and rose to life again so we might be free. You are forgiven. Be at peace. Amen. Thanks be to God. Having now received God's forgiveness for our sins, let us sing the Peruvian Gloria. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To him be glory forever, to him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. To Him be glory forever, to Him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. To Him be glory forever, to Him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Let us offer our prayer of call it, or a special prayer for Easter this morning. Let us pray. God of glory. By the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope. For a new day has dawned, and the way of life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. During this psalm, if you could respond with the refrain of a modern hymn, Ten Thousand Reasons. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never. Oh, my soul, I'll 
satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all he prays. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his hope. his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and bounding his love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbour his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship your holy As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower on the field. The wind blows over it and it's gone. But from everlasting to everla everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like now. has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us receive a gospel reading for Easter morning. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. 
Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They've taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they've put him. At this she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realise that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you. O Lord, our refuge and our strength. Amen. The Easter story is full of sorrow. The physical and spiritual sorrow of Jesus on the cross. The sorrow of his mother Mary as she watched him die. Sorrow of the disciples. A community ripped apart by betrayal and denial. The sorrow of Mary Magdalene who visits Jesus's tomb to mourn him. But it also is story full of joy and hope and promise. In the Christian faith Easter Day is the turning point of history. We sing and shout and celebrate because Jesus Christ rose from the dead, defeating death, taking all of our sin as his own burden to save us all. As John's Gospel says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, so that whoever believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. This Easter Sunday is not what we hoped it would be. We aren't able to come into our church buildings to celebrate as we have done in previous years. In many cases, we aren't able to celebrate with their family members in person. But that does not mean that the key messages of Easter are lost to us. In fact, Easter's story 
becomes even more poignant and the hope it brings is even more important. When we reflect upon the story of Easter Day, we think about the joy and hope. We remember the joy that felt by Mary Magdalene when she realised that she was speaking to Jesus after his resurrection. We share in that joy along with Christians all over the world as we remember that God sent his only son to take away all our sins, our human brokenness. For so many people, coronavirus pandemic is a time of sorrow. Perhaps you have lost a loved one to the virus. Please be assured of our prayers. Perhaps you have separated from the people you love most because of social distancing. Perhaps you are struggling with anxiety and uncertainty this morning. In this time of pandemic, joy and hope are more important than ever. Communities have found ways to share joy and hope. We see hope in the nature through the spring flowers like daffodils. We see hope through the rainbow designed by children to put up in their windows. We see hope through the work of our amazing NHS and every other frontline worker doing all they can to keep the country moving. As we see hope in our own Hope for Sutton project, which is reaching those in our community who are isolated and alone. We have more than 140 shopping deliveries made this week. More than 100 prescriptions collected and delivered. More than 100 food parcels delivered to the families on front line as well as those families which are living on the breadline. We had more than 1,400 conversations on phone. We also see hope in the images of crosses which I requested people to email us last week with rainbow and cross reflecting hope in Christ which we celebrate this morning. We may be socially distanced, my dear friends, but we are both spiritually and socially connected and remain blessed with love and hope this Easter Sunday. We are coming together in new ways and we are spreading God's message of love and hope far and wide. I wish you and all the members of your household a very blessed Easter. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Spoken in the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll say together the words of the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
And now Rachel Cooper will lead our prayers of intercession, followed immediately by our second hymn. O oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. O oh, praise his name for evermore. For endless days we will sing your praise. O oh, Lord, O oh, Lord our God. Let us pray to the Father in joy, hope and praise. When I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond, hear our prayer. Across the world, we come together as one church, one community, one faith and one light to sing your praises and share your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, our Lord, is risen. May the good news of Eastertide spread across the land, bringing fresh strength in difficult times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for a world that is free from hatred, violence, poverty and injustice, and that the promise and hope of the Easter story inspires us all to build a world of love, peace, prosperity and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, teach us to be your servants to all who are in need. Reveal the light of your presence to those who are unwell and to those who care for them, to comfort and strengthen them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. On this day of resurrection, bring the light and peace of your gospel to us all, and bring us fresh strength in the good news of Eastertide. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Take an Easter communion together. Here is bread and here is wine. Christ is with us in these gifts of creation. This bread is healing. In this cup there is eternal life. Let us pray to God who gave up his Son for us. Almighty God, you give us these signs for our Saviour. Bless these gifts to us, to us in your service, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is here. Almighty God is with everybody here today. Lift your hearts and voices. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Our hearts and our voices Give glory to God in the highest. Let us thank God for all his goodness. Let us join together in thanks. Father God, we thank you for your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. He was there at creation and saw the world you made for us given life. He came to us as a baby born of Mary in Bethlehem. He lived among us and showed us how to be your children. He went to the cross knowing he was doing your will and died for us because of your great love for every person you have made. He defeated death. He rose to life. He is seated at your side in heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Father God, you are holy. You alone are God and Jesus is your only Son. We offer these gifts of bread and wine at your table. By your Holy Spirit, we pray that they may represent to us Jesus in body and blood. He himself gave us this meal. When he sat at the table with his friends on the night before he died, he gave them bread and telling them it was his body a sacrifice for all. Then he gave them wine, explaining that his blood was the new agreement with God. We eat and drink these things to remember him. 
Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Celebrating together at your table is something we want to do and something we must do, Father God, because it gives you the praise you are worth and remembers Jesus who saves us. Send us your Holy Spirit so we can join in with all your children on earth and in heaven and offer you our praise through Jesus who gives us all good things. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We know that we aren't good enough on our own to come to your table. Father, but only because of your great love for us. We know that only by Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection we can approach you and call you our heavenly dad. Clear out our sin and make us clean again so that we can come to this table and join the celebration as your children because you love mercy and have given us new life in you. Amen. Let us offer the prayer after communion, God of life, for our redemption, gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection has delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us receive our blessing and dismissal by our young voices, choir children. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Christ died for our sins, but the cross did not contain him. The cross stands empty. He rose again, having defeated death, it could not restrain him. The grave lies empty. He is risen, as he promised, and he lives today. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And now, rejoicing in the promise of life everlasting, let us sing our recessional hymn. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia.
bless you and keep you. Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. May God be with you during this Easter time.